Hello guys, welcome to Technotrends. Today we are going to learn about session tracking using JSP. So, what is meant by session tracking and when we need to track the session? Okay, first of all, uh, we need to know how the how our uh, sessions uh, JSP will work. Okay, so first uh, the client will request for a JSP and then the the server web server will receive that JSP request and uh, a re uh, server will process that uh, request and if the JSP page is available then it is going to return the JSP page as the response with the uh, HTML as the content okay so while we are sending a request okay it is being transferred with the help of HTTP protocol hypertext transfer protocol so whenever the user sends for the first time it is a first request and for the second time also it is a for re first request you because of the HTTP because HTTP is a stateless protocol which is not going to store the information of the requests which has been sent by the user okay so for the first time it is first request and for the second time also it is a fresh request and the third time and fourth time and how many times he has requested from for the same web application with different different JSP pages uh, they all are going to be treated as the different different first requests okay so this is the main problem actually we need to store the information of the user we need to maintain the information of the user for example for example the Google Google for the first time we are uh, logging in with our username and password and it has to remember our username for every Google application because every Google application is going to have the same Google address Google account okay so uh, to maintain that information throughout all the Google applications it has to in maintain the sessions and this session tracking can be done in four ways the first way we are going to learn about is cookies and the second way is hidden form fields and the third way is URL rewriting and the fourth way is HTTP sessions and today we are going to learn about the session tracking using cookies okay so what is meant by cookie and how you are going to maintain the information of the users in the cookie okay cookie is a small piece of information which is going to be stored in a small file which is going to be stored in a small file in the client browser and that should be persisted that is going to be persisted between the multiple client requests for example look at this image okay here the client sends the first request this is the new request if you have not uh, uh, maintaining any session tracking information okay so uh, the request the response will be sent back the user and the third request the second time the request has been sent it is also new but we are using cookies okay first it has requested and the server has sent the response as well as the cookie to the client and uh, next time the request has been sent from the client to the server it has sent the request as well as the cookie and uh, to maintain the information of the cookies okay we are going to have the we are going to use the some methods okay the methods available in cookies are first one the cookie it is a constructor which is going to have the string name and string value the name is the cookie name and the value is to be stored into that cookie name and uh, for every response you need to add a cookie that has to send from the server to the client and uh, the server at the server side it is going to get the cookies for the second response okay we are going to look an example which is going to contain a HTML page which is going to send a name and value for the cookie okay and uh, uh, in the JSP page we are going to retrieve those values uh, retrieve those name and value for the cookies and we are going to create a cookie with the help of the constructor and we are going to add the cookie to the response and then we are going to forward that page to the next JSP page and then in the second JSP page we are going to get the cookies and displace the values of the cookies okay so this is what we are going to do in this thing okay and uh, now we are going to create a 
uh, web application using NetBeans. Okay, and uh, this web application is going to contain one HTML page and two JSPs. Okay, so now I am going to create a new application, new project, Java web web application. Right, uh, the name is session tracking JSP right and say it next uh, select the server okay and Java uh, Apache Tomcat 8.0.2.27.0 finish all right this is the HTML page which is going to contain the cookie name and cookie value reading things okay reading elements okay so what I'm going to do is uh, title session tracking using JSP right so the div I'm going to remove and I'm going to have a form here form action is add cookie dot JSP which is going to have the post method say okay right and here I'm going to have the text input okay name is C name okay say okay next one more text field C value I'm going to have the placeholder for this one. Enter cookie name. Next placeholder. Enter cookie value. And one submit button. Add cookies right let me check once so right click on my project run which is going to start the server right look here I got the things here right enter cookie name enter cookie value and add cookie so this is my project okay I have created tra session tracking JSP right so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the I'm going to create the JSP file which JSP add cookie dot JSP right so a new JSP add cookie right so my JSP was created and here uh, in the body I'm going to have the JSP element right so the JSP element is going to have first it is it needs to read in the cookie name and cookie value entered by the user in this text box okay so for that purpose i am going to have the two strings c name comma c value right so c name is equal to a request because we are sending the request okay so request dot get parameter of c name right and uh, what it is saying that yeah i got here no props c value is equal to request dot get parameter of c value what is the c name and c value this c name and c value are the names we have given for the text boxes okay so here we have given c name 
and we have given c value and this c name and c value will be used to read the values entered into those text boxes okay and now what i'm going to do is i need to create the cookie first so for that purpose i'm going to use the cookie class cookie ck is equal to new cookie with name c name and with the value c value these are the two values we need to give two parameters we need to give and this will create the uh, cookie with the name we have given and this uh, cookie is going to contain the value we have given in the with the c value okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this cookie to the response add cookie of ck right now it was created and added and what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a h1 here right cookie created right and now form action is equal to action is equal to display cookies dot jsp method is equal to post and now i am going to have a input type is equal to button submit value is equal to display cookies right now it was created let me how let me check whether my cookie was created or not so I right click on my project and say run okay right so enter cookie name so name and cookie value is techno trends okay say add cookies right cookie was created perfectly right cookie was created perfectly so now we will create a display cookies dot jsp file okay to display the cookies we have created it right now okay so right click on your our project session tracking jsp new select jsp okay and the new file name is display cookies and say finish <coughs> now the display cookies was created and uh, cookies created is my title okay and uh, now I am going to have the table right to display the cookies actually to display the cookies I am going to have the table okay and now what I am going to do is I am going to display the cookie name okay cookie name and uh, cookie value cookie value i want to display here right so this is actually i want to display the cookie name one side and cookie what is the value of the cookie other side okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to <coughs> read in all the cookies which i have in my program which i have created so for that purpose i need to use the request dot get cookies get cookies function right this function returns me with an object cookie object right so cookie object array okay so now i am going to have the for loop okay this for loop is going to display the different uh, whatever the uh, cookies i have created till now they are going to be retrieved with the help of this for loop ck dot length okay so i plus plus okay now what i'm going to do is i am going to have this cookies okay and now uh closing this thing because i want to display them in the tabular format okay so what i'm going to do is tr right in the tr i'm going to have the td right 
in between td i want to display the <coughs> cookie values right so percentile out dot print ln of what i want to have here i want to display the c k of i dot get name right this is going to display the name of the cookies okay and now the next one is ck of i get value because it is going to display the value of the ith if it is the first one zero th cookies name and value will be displayed here and later on i want to close this percentile less than percentile okay so here it is not thtd actually it is th table header and table header right and these are the values i want to get from the cookies okay now let me check whether it is working or not so f6 uh, sorry f6 uh, press f6 or uh, right click on the project and say run <coughs> excuse me right the program has been started right the term can has started its uh, services okay and now yes i got the output now i am going to enter the name cookie name and cookie value okay so name of the cookie is uh, name and the value is technotrends and say add cookie okay now cookie he has created successfully and now display cookies right so here i got uh, two cookies here one is the session id obviously it is going to be created by the system itself and the next cookie is cookie name and technotrends okay so the actually it is a table i want to display right so i want to make the table border as uh, some border i need to mention here right so border is equal to 1 and i want to make this table to be aligned to center right so now what i am going to do is look here uh, yeah how nice it is cookie name is jstation id and cookie value is f four four five three something something and the next one cookie name is name and the cookie value is technotrends okay so now next uh, i am going to create one more cookie here right so the name of the cookie is <coughs> channel right and the name is youtube okay say add cookies and cookie creator and display cookies now look at this channel and youtube these are the cookies i have created using my application like this you can mention the uh whatever the information users information here with the help of the cookies and you can track the session of the user using cookies like this you can have the session tracking in the jsp with the help of the cookies can be implemented and uh, not next in the next video we are going to learn how to create the sessions and how to track the sessions using http sessions okay thank you very much guys thank you very much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much